it has two specific aims, which are to compensate injured patients and to deter future errors. It's also incredibly expensive. Uh, 54 cents out of every dollar that is paid to a plaintiff goes to administrative costs for both sides. It's very inefficient. It can take three to five years for a case to either settle or go to trial. 62% reported that they were either uncomfortable or very uncomfortable with their knowledge about medical malpractice. We think that disclosure and apology and mediation are really promising ideas because they get at some of the roots of the problems with the malpractice system. The reality is that these uh, two tools, disclosure and then mediation, and we're going to spend more time discussing disclosure, are ways of trying to short circuit litigation. Uh, it's primarily fear of litigation that stops physicians from feeling comfortable. Um, and it's also a, a variety of other um, very strong and powerful uh, emotions that occur. But it means that this absence of conversation uh, produces a really serious uh, sort of dichotomy between what patients or family members feel they need and what is actually uh, happening. How you talk to people in these particular times, in these interactions with patients, and particularly after something has gone wrong, is more important than what you're actually saying, with the, the information, the medical information you're giving them. Physicians want to apologize and patients want to receive an apology when appropriate, but there is um, considerable worry about legal liability. And so it's only probably going to change when the culture of an institution changes, so it's not one of everyone the physicians at least feeling that they're practicing in the context of likely to be blamed, but rather that they are encouraged to speak about what has gone wrong with an understanding that everybody can learn as a result. Mediation is um, really an alternative to litigation. So uh, when a medical malpractice case is brought, one way of resolving it um, and hopefully as early as possible uh, to avoid the length and cost of litigation itself is to sit down with a mediator who is a neutral third party um, in mediation which is a confidential private uh, process and um, have at the table ideally the plaintiff and the plaintiff's attorney, the defense counsel but also the physician or some healthcare provider knowledgeable about the case and with the assistance of the mediator be able to discuss the events that occurred but really with an eye toward figuring out what it is that everyone would like to have happen. The mediation provides that opportunity to have um, the same kind of conversation, albeit much later in the process, uh, that patients typically feel that they desperately need because many, many patients who have sued in malpractice say that they are suing because of frustration, that they at least feel that their um, questions were never answered, no one would speak to them, and the only way they could find out what happened and why was to sue. Mediation, you don't have a stake in it. And your goal is not just to win um, and make sure the other person loses, but instead it's to try and meet, reach and help the parties reach. I mean, they're the ones who decide what the outcome is going to be. It's voluntary. The mediators don't make any ultimate decisions. It is the parties whom the mediator is helping decide what they really want to do here. What, you know, what are the, what's the outcome that would satisfy both of them? In medical malpractice cases, it invariably includes an amount of money, but it can include other things too, which can be very meaningful.